Today, we are going to find the speed of a block sliding down an inclined plane by using the conservation of energy. We will ignore friction. Initially, the object only has gravitational potential energy, which is equal to the mass of the object times the acceleration due to gravity, g, times the initial height, h1. After the block has slid some distance, now the block has two types of energy, kinetic energy, which is equal to one-half the mass times velocity squared, and a new, lower, gravitational potential energy, mgh2. Because the energy is conserved, both energies will be equal. Each term in this equation has the mass, m, so we cancel it out. Now let's subtract over the term gh2 and factor out g. Now we multiply both sides by 2. and take the square root. So now we get that the velocity is equal to the square root of 2 times g times the difference in heights. What if we want the velocity in terms of the distance the object slides down the incline instead of the change in height? We can form a right triangle with the distance the object slides, d, and the difference in heights, h1 minus h2. This angle, theta, is the angle of incline. The sine of theta is equal to the opposite side, which is the difference in heights, divided by the hypotenuse, d. So, the height difference equals d times sine theta. We can make this replacement in our velocity equation and we're done. The velocity is equal to the square root of 2 times g times d times sine theta.